Hi everyone, I'm Hallie. Welcome back to Ledger and Lace. Today I am going to show you my top favorite um, Dollar Tree non-crafty items that I keep in my craft room. So um, first stop is the first aid aisle and we have paper tape which you can do um, DIY your own washi tape and Nick the booksmith did a whole video on that so I will link that down below but you can stamp on this I typically just use it as a sort of neutral you know if I don't want actual anything on the washi it just makes a great adhesive without being um, too thick or shiny like regular tape so um, there's that and then the other thing is here's a tip I and I don't remember where I learned this from but I don't have really good luck with buying just empty spray bottles and using them as spray bottles because they will crap out. So I get a bottle that is designed as a spray applicator to begin with. And so this is hydrogen peroxide. This is great to have in the laundry area. This is what, this is liquid, liquid OxyClean. So it gets rid of um, blood stains and you know, stuff like that. So then when you're finished with it, it's, and it's a good size too. So um, it's good to put alcohol inks in here or you know whatever else tea if you're adding extra tea spritzing or whatever for your tea staining so there's that uh, speaking of alcohol I was going in to get alcohol and it actually came in these handy dandy spray bottles so what I did was I was making I was DIYing my own alcohol inks so uh, I did it with this and then I have um, let's see let me grab something and I'll show you so there we go DIY alcohol spray so there's that. And then if you go uh, down the aisle, there are makeup brushes in the makeup department. What I love about these brushes is that unlike um, sort of cheap art brushes, these don't lose bristles. They're really compact, great for glue application and that sort of thing. Oh, back to um, cotton swabs. I use these a lot for more precise application of things or, you know, just they have a lot of applications for paints and inks and cleanup and that sort of thing. So my mom used to say, well, do you get, did you get in there to the crevices with the Q-tips? So um, yeah, Q-tips, a big thing in our fam. So that is the makeup and the first aid aisle. And now going into, the kitchen aisle um this is great because it's got a pour spout so for example how i made my alcohol inks um i just poured this directly into the cup and then i took my um what did i use for these i used inkjet empty inkjet spongy things that i pulled out and i think i have a video on this I'll look for it. If I don't, I'll do another tutorial. Um, but anyway, so that's how I did it. And then it's handy dandy pour spout back into the bottle. And then you've got your alcohol spray. So that, and then I use these for a lot of different things. These are great for applying when I'm cleaning uh, leather bags and stuff for making traveler's notebooks. They also have the scrubby part on here. So if you need to rough something up to apply um whatever you're applying then you know it's it's kind of like a softer version of sandpaper so that's good so you, you can also cut these up and make your own kind of sponge stamps if you wanted to do that so that's a, a good deal for that another thing i use is um toothpicks and one of the things I do with this is like really precise glue so like especially with Fabri-Tac if I'm getting into little areas or touching up also if I go ch -ch 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 with the glue I can take it across and just sort of smooth it out like that so that's really good um, 
I don't think I got this at the Dollar Tree, uh, this votive handle, but they do have um, votive uh, holders, not handles, um, to, you know, fancy up your toothpick holder. So there's that. Um, and then cutting mats. These are fantastic because not just for the obvious of cutting and protecting your surfaces, you can also cut these to size and use them for pen boards in your Franklin Covey planner or uh, so your ring binder, your traveler's notebooks, it's a sturdy surface. You can also use these as uh, stencils if you want a really heavy duty stencil. Another thing, thing you can do is you can do, I'll show you what I did here. You can do a template. So if you're churning out a bunch of traveler's notebooks, this happens to be A6 size. This is, um, I have a template in my free traveler's notebook course on over on teachable um but you know so you just go zip 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 with a pencil and then um it's super fast another thing you can do and i put this mat down to remind myself is you can go ahead and make your own diy cheaper version of a cutting mat so you could put the grid lines on here and everything for that so there's that um i've got two more things i've saved for last one is i use these dish pans they're just the plastic dish pans for everything they're great for storage they're great for holding projects you can just put them on the shelf they're fantastic um, and the, the thing I buy the most of is parchment paper. I, I don't think I've ever used it for its purpose because <laughs> I don't bake, but, um, it's wonderful because number one, it's nonstick. So it's great when you're doing a bunch of Mod Podging, it's nonstick. You just, uh, you know, when you spread it out onto your work surface, just hold it down with something at the corners. But the other thing is that it's, because it's heat resistant, it's great for any kind of ironing where if you're using, for example, heat and bond or anything with a glue or adhesive, you just put this over top and you don't have to worry about gumming up your iron. So there's that. Um, a couple other things is one, uh, you can go on to dollartree.com and if you can't find something in your local store, instead of going around to all the local Dollar Trees, just go online because you'll find stuff on online that you can't find there. Um, you do have to, however, order by the case. So there's that. But it's free shipping to your local Dollar Tree. So that's great. So let me show you what I had ordered online by the case. Um, so dish pans, whatever you want to order. I got these and I don't have the originals because I covered them all up, but they came in a three pack. These are mini compositions when I was making mini traveler's notebooks that I was calling my little grab and goes. Um, so I just covered them with pretty scrapbook paper and then their little composition notebooks. So, you know, I got a case I think was, um, depends. I mean, if you're ordering, you can order the candles. You don't have to buy a dozen. I think they come in a case of six or, you know, the, the amount, the, the, the number of items you have to buy in a case differs depending on what it is that you're buying. So there's that. So let me know what non-crafty items you like to keep in your craft studio and um, maybe we can do a follow-up or do a video um, response of what you like if you have a top 10 or actually I think it's 11 because it's one more um, so anyway let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video bye